Hey everyone, it's Ethan Ormas back again for another video today and welcome back to the channel guys. We're going to be talking about uh, this past major, major one of course, congratulations to uh, Optic Texas or Texas Optic uh, on winning the first major and winning their first event since way back in uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So obviously it's been a few years since they won uh, and it's nice to see them back on top of course. Uh, such a great roster, and they really proved it this weekend with an absolutely epic reverse sweep over FaZe, and then again winning over FaZe in the Grand Finals. So obviously, let's take a look at the bracket. So uh, I actually went flawless on day one. I got every series right, which I was pretty happy about, but uh, obviously uh, uh, some matchups were a little different than I was expecting. But nonetheless, um, it was a great weekend, a really great weekend of COD. Pretty much every series was entertaining, excuse me, um, and of course, I mean, the fans, the fans in Texas were awesome. It was really, really great, but uh, yeah, overall, let's take a quick look at the bracket. So, of course, FaZe beat Breach 3-0, uh, Optic beat Surge 3-0, uh, Royal Ravens beat Gorillas 3-2, and Ultra beat Thieves 3-2, and that was in uh, winners round one and then we go to losers round one we have breach beating the mutineers and eliminating the mutineers uh three two the legion uh beating the surge and eliminating the surge three two and honestly with gravity uh the legion look much better temp is such an underrated player fellow looks much better in an smg role alongside john uh and surge my god they are a massive question mark right now what is going on with the Surge right now, right? Uh, and then uh, Rocker beat the Gorillas and eliminate the Gorillas uh, 3-0. Uh, then the Thieves beat the Subliners and eliminate the Subliners 3-0, making the Subliners now 0-10 in hard points. And of course, they're not the only team struggling uh, in hard points. I was about to grab my shirt because I thought I was wearing my Ultra shirt, but no, never mind. Then on to winners round two, uh, we have Optic beating FaZe again in the reverse sweep 3-2. Uh, then the Royal Ravens beating the Ultra 3-1. And then the losers round two, we have the Breach eliminating the Legion 3-1. We have the Thieves eliminating the Rocker 3-1. And then in losers round three, we have the Ultra eliminating the Breach 3-2. We have FaZe beating the Thieves and eliminating them 3-2. Uh, which was kind of surprising and at this point i mean my bracket was totally fucked because i had phase in the winners i had phase beating optic uh, and i had thieves making a loser's bracket run pretty much all the way so my bracket got completely torched uh c come saturday really so uh then moving on to losers around uh four uh we have uh phase eliminating ultra 3-0 and that is uh, fourth place uh, for uh, the Ultra. That is the lowest they have placed since they added Insight to the team. And I mean, they've only placed first, second, and third. So obviously now fourth, they're still, I think, one of the best teams in the league. But of course, again, they need to fix their hard point. 0-7 on the weekend in hard point is not good at all, considering you play it against... The Thieves, I mean, they're arguably the best hardpoint team in the game. Not really surprising that you lose there. Uh, but then you go on to the Breach. Or, sorry, then you go on to the Ravens. Can't win a hard point there. I mean, they kind of struggled that series as well. Uh, then you go on to the Breach. You lose both hard points, which was pretty surprising. And, of course, the Breach are a good S&D team. So we uh, kind of got lucky there. We, you know, every series either went... I mean, the, the series we won went to five games, and the series we lost were a little bit shorter, of course. But, um, uh, yeah, obviously Toronto needs to fix their hard point as well. Uh, and then we have FaZe eliminating the Royal Ravens. Uh, and I had the Royal Ravens getting eliminated there any, or Sorry, no. I had uh, the Thieves getting eliminated there by the Royal Ravens. Um, so, yeah, my uh, loser's round four was uh, Optic versus... Uh, or sorry, Thieves versus Toronto, um, and I had uh, Thieves moving on, but nonetheless, uh, obviously, again, FaZe eliminates the Royal Ravens, and the Royal Ravens place third, that's the highest placing they've had since Champs of, uh, or, yeah, well, 
I, actually, that is the highest uh, they've ever placed, I believe, third, because I believe at Champs they placed fourth back in World, or sorry, not World War Two. I was going to say World War Two uh, back in uh, Modern Warfare. So, uh, obviously, that team has such a high ceiling, and I'm intrigued to see how they continue on. And then, of course, in winter, in the Winners' Finals, Optic uh, had sent down the Royal Ravens uh, in a 3-1 series, pretty easy series for Optic. And then, in the Finals... Uh, I had Optic beating FaZe just because they looked so good. Like yesterday when I uh, seen that it was going to be those two in the finals, they looked so great. Uh, and ultimately, they looked very great. Of course, losing, I believe, two Search and Destroys. Um, but yeah, they ended up going on like a 15-round win streak at one point on the weekend, which is absolutely absurd. Um, but yeah, Optic... Did very, very well this weekend. Uh, of course, we've got so much to talk about. I have so many tabs open right now. But, uh, yeah, so let's go and look at the leaderboards right now. Of course, I mean, Atlanta still in first because, of course, they made it to the grand final, or, or they made it to the grand finals, and they did it through losers, so they had to win a lot of series. So currently their record is 9-2, and two, uh, which is pretty interesting. And then in second place is Texas. They're only five points behind FaZe right now with a record of 7-2. and two. In third, we have the Ravens at 80. In fourth, we have the Thieves at 60. In fifth, we have Toronto at 50. Uh, then at sixth, we have Boston at 40. Then in uh, seventh, we have Tide, Rocker, and Surge. Uh, in eighth, we have Tide, Muneers, and Gorillas. And at ninth, we have Tide, New York, and Legion. So, of course... Uh, pretty interesting the middle of the pack here is very interesting to me of course uh, i mean really the gorillas to ultra uh but more so the gorillas to breach like those five teams right here i'm very intrigued to see how they do uh in this upcoming week uh because looking at the excuse me looking at the schedule uh there are some very interesting um very interesting matchups so Looking through it, I'll just quickly glance through it for you guys. I looked at it a little bit before recording the video. Uh, some very interesting schedules. Some schedules that uh, uh, came out a lot, or that uh, kind of threw me for a loop, I guess, was uh, uh, Atlanta Phase. They have a pretty tough schedule. Uh, they have Surge uh, right here on Saturday of week one, which is actually this week. Uh, then they have the Royal Ravens. They have Ultra, they have Mutineers, and they have Texas. So I think Atlanta has a very tough schedule this week. Uh, and similar, similarly, Texas has a decently tough schedule as well. They have, uh, of course, uh, Atlanta. They have the Gorillas. Um, they have the Mutineers. They have the Surge. And they have, uh, well, there should be one more. <laughs> oh, and the Thieves. There we go. So... Uh, again, Optic could be going 3-2 and two once again. They could be going 5-0. and oh. They are arguably the best team. Uh, no, they are the best team in the world right now, so who knows? They could be going 5-0. and oh. And to be fair, I mean, obviously looking at the standings again, they are two round 11s away from being 9-0 and oh right now. Uh, so obviously... Texas is in a very good spot. They, again, they, I think they are the best team in the league right now. And here's a quick look at, um, actually, sorry. You know what? I want to go back to the schedule really quickly because um, uh, I'm intrigued to see how Seattle does this upcoming major. They play Boston. Uh, then they play Texas. Uh, then they play the Gorillas. They play the Thieves. And oh, there should be one more. I'm missing it. Sorry. Where's the other one? Um, oh, in phase. There we go. So, yeah. Obviously, they have a pretty tough schedule as well. So, I'm intrigued to see how they do. Nonetheless, let's continue on. Uh, a quick look at the series. I mean, Dashi was definitely getting the MVP chance. Over the weekend, I would say it was probably Dashi or uh, Shotzi, honestly. But Illy really had a great finals. And so did Scump, obviously. So, no one on Atlanta did that great. But over a seven-game series, I mean, no one's KDs are really going to be that great. Uh, anyways, except for the winning team. So, obviously, most of the maps were uh, pretty entertaining. Of course, map one, not very close. Map two, very close. Map three, very close. Map four, pretty close. Map five, not as close. Uh, map six, very close. And map seven ended up being pretty close as well. 
I'm moving on. So here's my pick -em. So like I said, I went flawless on day one. Not bad. Then we go to day two. I mean, I did all right. I did decent. But again, uh, I mean, I didn't have the rocker moving on. I had the gorillas beating them. So after that, I mean, it just got completely torched. I mean, my final four were absolutely false. <laughs> I mean, I got one of them, or, or I got two of them right. I had uh, Atlanta and London right. But yeah, it was kind of unfortunate there. Uh, but, I mean, what can you do, right? Uh, some things I wanted to shout out. Number 30, Force Gump, over 10 Call of Duties, which is pretty crazy. I, I mean, I really do think he is uh, the COD GOAT. I know I know, Krim has more rings, uh, and he has more chips. Krim was definitely on better teams, though, before and after uh, that Optic uh, Absolute Dynasty. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens come the future. Uh, of course, he's, like, 26 right now, so he's still pretty young. Of course, again, Optic winning the major. Very, very awesome to see. And it's their first win since way back in Modern Warfare. Like I said, I'm combining them as Chicago Huntsman slash Optic, uh, or Chicago Optic, and the Dallas Empire, because that's what they are considered. They're a mix of those three teams. And, of course, like I said... Um, you know, the last time this organization actually won was at Champs in uh, Modern Warfare. Uh, this is something I do. I keep track of all of the CDL wins. So, of course, since the Call of Duty League started back in 2020, I have tr uh, stats for all of them. Of course, uh, the most winningest team uh, after MW was, of course, Dallas Empire getting technically their fourth ch uh, chip at champs as well, their ring. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then you go to CDL 2021, which was Black Ops Cold War. It's pretty much just two teams <laughs> all year long. It was Atlanta or Toronto. So you see uh, it was Atlanta, then Dallas, then Toronto and Atlanta. Atlanta, New York, Atlanta, Dallas, um, Minnesota, Toronto, and Atlanta, Toronto. So then, of course, Atlanta being the winningest franchise uh, at the end of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War uh, with six total uh, victories and a uh, ring. And then moving on to Vanguard, of course, we only have the one event so far. We have now Optic Texas, which combines with the, of the or combinations, I guess, sorry, of uh, the Dallas Empire, uh, Optic Chicago, and Chicago Huntsman, so three franchises overall. The Huntsman won two events, uh, the Empire won four events, plus championships, uh, and then now um, uh, Texas, of course, uh, winning this one here. So it's a total of seven total tournaments, which is the seven ch chips. Uh, and then, of course, the one ring overall for the franchise, so that's how I keep track of it. So what is whatever is under the logo of the team, that is the franchise, and then what is under the players, how many they won in the CDL, in the Call of Duty League. Of course, it's obviously not very accurate right now because I think overall, I think these three, uh, Abizi, Simp, and Arsides, have eight chips, seven for sure, but I guess I think it's eight um, plus two rings, obviously, but I'm just doing since the Call of Duty League has started, which was back in 2020 in Modern Warfare. So, again, uh, Skump gets number three in the CDL, Dashie gets number one in the CDL, and Shotzi and Illy get number five in the CDL. And of course, uh, we have like literally the six most winning or the six most winningest players in CDL history uh, in the grand finals here at Major One. So I'm intrigued to see how that will continue. Uh, or how that will pan out for the rest of the season. Of course, we have three majors left and championships. I wish there were more majors, unfortunately. But with COVID right now, unfortunately, that's all it could be. Hopefully, we'll eventually get back to the Modern Warfare ser uh, 1 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus champs with 13. That's what I thought. But uh, yeah, so I'm very intrigued to see how the rest of Vanguard pans out. Of course, now actually, I can also change this to the Optic Texas Colors winning Major 1. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.